Hey guys, we are back with some more 100 baby challenge. Last time we ended up with, uh, we have two kids now, Brennan and Brayden. We have three toddlers and we have a sixth child on the way. Our house is a disaster. Gunther's here just living it up, trying to help, not really being that helpful. But I guess today what we want to do is we want to try and age up all our kids and we'll end up having our sixth baby at one point. We are in our third trimester, so it could be any second now. It appears that everyone's um pretty, pretty messed up right now, so we need to fix this. The kids also have their school projects, so let's see if we can put that somewhere outside for them to work on. So Brayden's working on his project. Brendan is working on his homework. Myra's just trying to live. All of our toddlers are working on their skill building. It's Carson's first bubble bath. Oh my goodness, so exciting. Sounded like she said Carcini. She said his name. Oh wow, we're all hanging out outside. Trey smells disgusting right now. I just realized he might be able to ask his dad to give him a bath. Ask, that's not even his dad, my bad. Ask him to give you a bath. We are busy right now. He's actually doing it. Thank you, Gunther, for bathing this child that's not even yours. Gunther's leaving. I guess he didn't appreciate us making him bathe a random child he doesn't even know. Brayden finished his school project. Good job, Brayden. What is green milk? What is blue milk? That sounds disgusting. Let's see what kind of project he made. Oh, he made like a little castle. That's kind of cool. Jackson is communication level three. Good job, Jackson. Oh, I told Trey to go to bed and he just passed out instead. I'm trying to get Brendan to finish his project. He's taking forever. Okay, he finally finished. So they both got extra credit. I have high hopes. Let's see what their grades are tomorrow. I'm having trouble aging, getting the toddlers ready to age up because they're always just like starving or need a bath, like constantly. Of course, they're awake because monsters are under the bed. Oh my gosh, why? I feel like this happens every night. Guess we'll make Myra go spray the monster. She's already like dying over here. Myra has successfully cooked a meal. She's getting pretty quick with it now, actually. Uh-oh, Brayden and Brandon have school in an hour. They haven't slept a whole lot. Alright, go to school. I'm sorry that you're both uncomfortable, but have a great day. Come home with A's. Our house just gets more and more disgusting every day. Like, taking care of all the toddler needs is so hard and it takes so much time. So I can't wait for one of our kids to, like, age up to a young adult and maybe, like, help us out a little bit. Because doing all of this on our own is really hard. Bro, I gave you cereal. Did you not eat it? I literally told you to eat it. There, eat your cereal, child. And Myra has gone into labor. We might not get to see our kids right when they get home. Who's the dad? I think it's Johnny. I guess there's not really a point in inviting them, though, because they always end up just leaving. We are here. Johnny's freaking out. Of course, the usual. We know how it goes. And he left. Oh, uh, Brendan and Brayden are B students now at least. We are going in for baby number six, everybody. We finally have a girl. Finally. Kinley? I like the name Kinley. We'll go with Kinley. Oh, we got twin girls. This means we have a full house now. Maybe like Kinley and Kinsley? <laughs> Uh, that's gonna get confusing. <laughs> it's fine though. We're already confused. This is going to be a um, mild disaster. Hey guys, so brief interruption in our scheduled programming. I had actually gotten a phone call and then by that point it was like too dark to record so now it's actually the next day. But here we are. We just got our first set of girls not just any girls, but twin girls. Um, Trey seems to be angry about it. 
Myra's still in her hospital gown. Let's check out how all our kiddos are doing. Oh, Brendan and Brayden had just gotten home from school and now have a bee. Oh, they were playing chess while I was gone. They are such good kids. How come? I don't know why, but Brendan is always stressed out and Brayden is not. I'll let him watch TV, be stressed a little bit. Trey's doing fabulous, so we already know he's going to have to do some skill building. Jackson is also doing pretty good. It's taking forever to age them up. Like, it didn't take this long for our first two kids, I guess because we were able to focus on them more. And right now, we actually have a full house, so our main goal is going to be to age these kids up and get them out of here. Paula wants to hang out tonight. I mean, of course he does. I hope these babies are less annoying. Well, Kinley's already asleep, so I feel like that's a good sign. I don't know, because something was definitely wrong with all the other ones. Brayden is about to meet his new siblings. Let's see what he thinks. Aw, he's so excited. Wow, Brendan and Brayden are just like golden children right now. And now he's cleaning up for us. Thank you, because our house is literally disgusting. Trey is tired of blocks. I'm sorry, but your brothers are using the other tablets right now. Let's see what other toys we can give him. Or maybe we can have him just play with like one of the toys in the toy box and that'll be like imagination skill, right? Does he need imagination? Yeah, he does. Okay. You want to play with butterfly? Make butterfly face? Brendan has completed his homework. Good job. Jackson's just sitting next to the pee puddle. Next to the disgusting toilet. I'm glad that the kids also like take care of themselves. Like usually they're doing things to take care of themselves before I even realize they need anything. So that's convenient. The babies are like sleeping. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but they're actually like asleep. I've developed a new system of just feeding all the toddlers at once. That way, I guess we get it done faster. Myra finally has a opportunity to fix the sink although she's starting to get tired but finally just has like a moment to breathe so of course we're gonna use this moment to force her to fix the sink but it's fine and let's have our wonderful children mop the puddles before they go to bed the fridge is broken too no all our food's gonna go bad all right um myra fix everything in the house real quick the babies are being like quiet for so long i told you there was just something wrong with the other babies i feel like we should like put their projects on display maybe we can put them up here yeah so amazing i hope our kids actually like sleep through the night no monsters or nightmares tonight please this is the cleanest our house has ever been let's just enjoy this moment it may never happen again and it's so like quiet, everyone's happy for the most part except Trey because he's always angry, but Myra's parenting level 7. Maybe the kids stay like more satisfied when their parenting level's higher. Look at our functioning sinks, wow. Just two bros getting breakfast before school, watching the morning cartoons. Oh wait, oh no, that's not morning cartoons. They're not approved this violence. Oh, they're like best friends. I'm telling these babies, maybe it's because they're girls, I don't know why, but they're just angels. Like, they're so, like, calm. Oh, whoops, they're all late for school. Go to school, everybody. Hurry up, Brendan, you're walking so slow. You're already late. Marcus says congratulations on the new addition to the family. I'm pretty sure he's, like, our next candidate, so little does he know. Spelling bee aid. It's a school spelling bee and Brayden has made it to the final round, but this time he's never even heard of the word he's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room, he sees the class Brainiac flash in a notebook with a word written neatly on it. I don't know if I trust the class Brainiac. Is she nice or he nice? I don't know. I feel like he should give it his best shot because cheating is not condoned in this household. He knows he can do it on his own. Aw, oh, he got it wrong. It's okay, better to lose honestly, right? Yeah. Look at Myra actually having time to like, cook. I love- What have you done? She's a little rough. She hasn't done it in a while. It's okay, we'll, we'll forgive her this time. Gunther says you became friends with Paulo Roca. He's pretty cool. Yikes. 
oh, our kids are about to be hungry, but we're going to do the method of feeding them all at the same time. Because I think it worked better for us last time. Johnny Zest wants to come over. Come on over, Johnny. How come Mara's... I told her to clean this high chair, and she's standing on the other side of a wall to clean it. If it gets the job done, it gets the job done, I guess. No, they still have bees. I'm so annoyed with them. I forgive them for now. Aw, Johnny's hanging out with his girls. Aw, so cute. Brayden and Brendan completed their homework. Good job, kiddos. It's almost Kinley and Kinsley's birthday. I'm not sure, but it's not, it's like not letting me let Myra shower. She just gets in and then gets out. So I guess she's just gonna have to be stinky. I'm gonna have her paint though, because we haven't painted in a while. Johnny Zest is leaving, unfortunately. Paulo wants us to hang out once again. Uh, no. Carson is going to play in the toilet. No, sir. We don't do that. Jackson reached movement level three. He's just got a potty now. Trey also just needs basically movement and potty and some thinking. Brayden got a present he thinks is dumb. Um, we've had this before. Be grateful. Apparently he didn't get it the first time. Unless that was Brendan who asked last time. I don't know. Myra finished a masterpiece. Yeah. Ooh. That is a work right there. We're gonna get a thousand six hundred dollars for it. Yes. Jackson, you're gonna keep going potty till you reach level three, okay? Trey reached thinking level three. Myra just gave up on us and is going to sleep. Bro. Oh wait, that's the whole artwork. I thought it was not finished. Okay. Keep going potty, my brothers. Jackson reached potty level three. Yas. We'll have Myra start making a cake pretty soon. Come on, Trey. You're almost there. You're so close. Reach potty level three. Yes. That means we can age them up as soon as Myra's done making a cake. We have a cake, everybody. It's time to age up our kiddos. Since Jackson was ready first, it's only fair to let him age up first. So... Happy birthday, Jackson! Myra's disgusting now because it wouldn't let her shower. Oh, yay! Happy birthday, Jackson! Pick a random number between one and four. The answer is four. Okay, four. And he's good. Oh, Jackson's good. Oh, look at his little his little look he's got going on. It's pretty cute, man. Add birthday candles. No one eat the cake, please. And then we'll age Trey up. We're gonna have to get some more beds. I have no idea where we're gonna put them. Happy birthday, Trey! Oh my gosh. Pick a random number between one and four. The answer is three. Three, motor. And he's a glutton. Eesh. You know what? With Trey, though, that makes sense. Paulo has sent Trey a gift. Nice! Why didn't you send Jackson a gift? Paulo. Aw, he's so cute! Even though he's gonna be a little troublemaker. Look how handsome he is! I guess we'll end this episode here. We aged up a couple more of our toddlers. So exciting. Soon we'll be able to age up our other baby girls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you'd like to see more, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!